Good morning. I'm Billy and this is Jammer360. Today we are in Oklahoma City at the National Cowboy Hall of Fame and Western Museum. I was watch looking on uh, YouTube and this guy Jerry Skinner, he did all these little videos about Hollywood types, uh, what happened to them, and it shows their whole life. Usually he goes to their home and stuff. Well, a lot of them did a lot of movies as cowboys, and I learned through him that there's a section in this museum dedicated to uh, Hollywood people that were in Cowboys and they were elected into the Hall of Fame. Now I went to junior high and high school about 30 miles from here and always passed this place and I never went to it because I always looked at it as just a place for like rodeo people. Well, uh, I've learned different from that so I thought I'd go over here and check it out. All right, so what we have back up here is the uh, end of the trail. It was, it's actually the original one made of plaster. They made it back in like 1915. Uh, they wanted to do it in bronze, but because World War I was getting to beginning, uh, they didn't have the metal to do it. So the artist made it in plaster. It sat outside in California for years and started to get all weathered. So the museum acquired it in the early 60s and uh, they refurbished it back to the way it was with the uh, understanding that they would build one of bronze. So they built a bronze one that's now back in the place where this was in uh, California. So they have lists of all the Rodeo Hall of Fame members and the years that they were inducted. See, so since I'm not a big rodeo follower, that's what I thought this whole place was when I was a kid. It was just full of rodeo performers. So right here on the Rodeo Hall of Fame, you've got Bill Pickett from Oklahoma. He was an African-American that actually invented rock busting. <laughs> Statue of Ronald Reagan. So this is all the old Cabs a whole section of just old cowboy stuff. There's exhibits, there's old saddles and spurs. And... Yeah, here's a whole row of history of the saddles. So this is a whole wall of different samples of barbed wire. So it's like histories of barbed wire. And different branding irons. Some of the big well-known ranches, their uh, brands. Now here's the great Westerners that were inducted into the Hall of Fame and the years they were inducted. I'm not real sure what it means to be a great Westerner. Kind of glancing at the names and I'm not really seeing anybody I've ever heard of. There's a whole section, People of the Plains, it's all the stuff, uh, Indian memorabilia. Then you come through here and it's a, uh, Calvary stuff. You can see the big Calvary horse rider. But they have uh, uniforms and weapons, a Gatling gun, guns and rifles and Calvary saddles. have a large collection of different rifles. Alright, so this section is the history of the rodeo. What I thought this whole museum was when I was a kid. You know, some barrel racer. 
Gene Autry Rodeo. This section is dedicated to the Hollywood cowboy. There's Gene Autry, the singing cowboy. Actually, have a little theater. You can go in there and see little clips. Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. Whole section here to Gunsmoke. Miss Kitty. Here we got Festus and Ronald Reagan. John Wayne. Huh? So we got the whole film library of John Wayne. And stuff of his. So there's a statue of John Wayne as Rooster Cockburn. Kind of a cool statue. Of course, this whole display in here is nothing but John Wayne. So here's all the Western performers that are in here. You know, some you've heard of, you know, Gary Cooper and Roy Rogers, uh, Kurt Douglas. You know, some you might be surprised to see on here, like uh, Henry Morgan, yep, Colonel Potter. Uh, people that are fairly new in movies like Tommy Lee Jones and uh, Tom Selleck but if you remember a while back in one of the videos when we were in Arizona we were on Andy Devine Boulevard well there's Andy Devine he's also in here yeah. even Vince Gill who's now touring with the Eagles and Audie Murphy Audie Murphy uh, which you may not know is also a big uh, army hero from World War II. He uh, won most of the major awards given in battle. And they actually have an award now in the army that you can become a member of the Audie Murphy Society. And it shows that you're a great soldier with all kinds of different ways to get it. Here we got clothing, boots. <laughs> Some pretty fancy chaps. Little dress shirts and of course the main prop of any cowboy the hats so the little movie they show in here I just watched it it uh, pretty much does the history of movies from the hundreds they did in silent all the way up to uh, the last movies they've done just recently a couple years ago I don't know how well you can see this, but this is just magnificent. <laughs> Another room, a lot of Indian art.
Yeah. Here's an Indian blanket that's fairly new, depicting 9-11. This is a really uh, wild looking outfit, but what it actually is, is a women's wedding outfit. All these colored feathers, it almost looks like an old band jacket. So back here we're gonna enter in, this area is supposed to be set up like an actual Old West town. So they've got a whole town built in this area. So, so we got like little stores. And the blacksmith. I know it's like really, really dark in here. <laughs> like they've got it kind of like it's glowing. There's the hotel, cattle ranch. It's supposed to be the railroad station, telegraph station. The dispatch, the saloon. They've even got noise of uh, people in the saloon. Player piano. <laughs> Photo studio, where it would take you know 15 minutes of standing still before they can make a picture. The marshal's office. In the jail. You can hear the train going by. And then at the end of the block, we have the church. And the dry goods store. And the Cattlemen State Bank. Let's go in here and rob the bank. What are they asking for? Have on your hat. It's 200 acres at $2.50 each. <laughs> yeah, that's so great. That's so great. And the doctor's office. Yeah. Find out where our train's going and get our ticket. Now, store your uh, luggage while you're waiting to go. And it looks like they're hiring apprentices to, uh, to make saddles. So if you want a job. Well, they actually did a pretty good job making up a... Uh, a city inside. So this cougar here was made from a 31 ton piece of Colorado marble. And it was donated to the museum back in 95. So here we have a statue of a younger John Wayne. It's about seven foot tall. And this is a statue of a young Mr. Lincoln. And then they do have a little place where you can get food. And they have tables that overlook the fountains. And there's actually chairs outside you can sit at if you'd like. All right, so that's our tour of the uh, Western Museum. Uh, I think I'll head into the store and see if I can't find myself a magnet. As you know, I like to collect those. And I'll see you in our next trip. So this is out the back of the building. If I didn't happen to accidentally drive back here, I would have missed this. But on all the buildings, as they connect all the uh, galleries together, they've got these pictures of horses running. And all the way over there where I can't actually drive to is the cowboy and he's uh, kind of leading all these horses like a like a herd. Not a herd, that's stupid. Like a roundup of, with uh, instead of cattle, they're uh, doing uh, horses.